In response to the ongoing concern of gender-based violence in Tobago, the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection's Gender Unit, in partnership with the Coalition Against Domestic Violence, organized a one-day educational and advocacy workshop addressing the issue of domestic violence. Reporter Tanika Cruikshank tells us more in this story. The world's affected by family violence, domestic abuse, or gender-based violence. According to statistics gathered by the CADV, crimes against women are more reported frequently than those against men, as males are often reluctant to speak up due to concerns about being perceived as unmannerly, as noted by Chief Gender Officer Nigel Phillips. This workshop aims to provide and develop our stakeholders both internally and externally with the right tools to assist the people of Tobago. The division believes that it is essential to educate more people about the distinction between genders and the significance of gender equality. Deputy Director of Gender Violence, Almekan Santan, emphasized that the partnership between the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection and the CADV is critical as it has the potential to address the challenges faced by the island. This session will explore technical attributes including practical guidelines and steps to improve referral mechanism, processes, and protocol. However, at the core, we are gathered here today for something very simple, to prioritize and protect the human rights of all women and girls, men and boys, and inform public a strong referral mechanism and a coherent national plan Director of the Coalition Against Domestic Violence, Marcus Kisun, highlighted that the policies would be formulated in the workshop to encourage a community where people can understand what others are going through without overwhelming them with the details about policy information. It's really a list of ways in which we go about, in one, understanding how people live their lives, more so how Caribbean people live their lives and experience gender-based violence. And then how do we now design interventions, clinical guidelines, procedures to follow that understanding? The education system lacks instruction on topics such as relationship, gender-based issues, and how to cope with them if one becomes a victim. Assemblyman Dr. Faith B. Israel from the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection has indicated that the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection is committed to assisting vulnerable individuals. To ensure that we marry those areas to ensure that we marry those theories to ensure that we marry all of those things that we hear good practice with what really happens on the ground if you or a loved one is experiencing domestic family or gender abuse please contact the tobago gender-based unit at 639-2512 Tanika Cookshank, Tobago Updates Television News.